how issues in a peaceful manner. This is an historic occasion for Bongo and Papua New Guinea. Well, I hope my one vote will contribute to the collective effort of the people of Bougainville to achieve the objective of this long process, which has been a joint effort between the national government of Papua New Guinea and Bougainville to achieve a, a, a good negotiated outcome. And I want to thank the government of Papua New Guinea, especially the people of Bougainville, for their commitment, for their zeal, and for the resilience to overcome uh, impediments along the way and achieve something that is that will be uh, democratic and uh, mutually acceptable to both parties. It's uh, <coughs> obvious that the people are now in the mood of celebration and I join them very much. They have every right to celebrate because this is a uh, forecast or the beginning of good things to come. It's our, it's, time. Special day. It's, our, it's our time, it's our day, it's our land, it's our country. Let me congratulate uh, this occasion and very auspicious and historic occasion, particularly to be standing beside uh, the president who has casted the first vote. And uh, according to the national government, President Momish is the father of decentralization in Papua New Guinea. And on this momentous occasion, particularly the celebratory spirit around this particular day, I think it demonstrates the, the maturity of our leadership and the maturity of the people in Bougainville. And uh, I believe that the entire uh, one week will be a celebratory one as people, what I've been calling in Pigeon, display day and day or house house cry. House cry or uh, crisis. And when we remove this house cry today, we will create a better space for a better future for Bougainville. And that's up to, as per our constitution, it will be up to the consultation process that will now be taking place as soon as this is concluded.